What type of fish? I think I would like to be a perch. I can do that. Holy, holy, boom! What in the world? This building was built in 1929 as a theater to entertain the enlisted men at Fort Benjamin Harrison. It was closed in about 1985 and was not open to the public for 30 years until Arts for Lawrence moved in in 2015. We tell the history of theater. Arts for Lawrence is a nonprofit arts organization. Our mission is to connect the community to the arts to inspire everyone, every day. We try to incorporate performing arts, visual arts, you know, we have dance, we have poetry, we have obviously theater, we have music. And so having that variety and trying to incorporate it into one building like we do is a really fun challenge for a programmer because I get to kind of dip into every bit of arts that Lawrence has to offer. We also offer art classes, we do mural programs, we have a summer art camp. My name is Gary Schmidt and I'm the resident artist here at uh, Arts for Lawrence. So I mostly do wool sculpture, do workshops, one workshop per month and it's on the first Thursday. There's bunnies in the spring, dogs in the summer, and we just did uh, landscape paintings. We've had a lot of really amazing things happening here at Port Harrison. All the new businesses that have come in, new housing, but the one thing that has been missing is that arts and cultural piece. The theater is great for performing arts, but we wanted to be able to offer visual arts and literary arts. It's just sort of a place where people would say, oh yeah, that's where I go for community events and arts and culture. There was this amazing opportunity that the Lilly Endowment announced called Strengthening Indianapolis Through Arts and Cultural Innovation. I'm a resident of Lawrence and I really wanted this for my community. I've lived in other places in the country where arts and culture have a hub and it's such a great way to feel connected to your community. It's a great way to make friends, to have a place to go where you know there's going to be someone there. Even if you don't know who they are, you know you have like interests. It's that happy place that community members seek out. And we want to keep our residents here in Lawrence for their happy place. So the cultural campus is this theater and the Starrett Center and the property behind it that the city already owns an interactive playground has been proposed that would be designed by Daily to Le Jour, as well as an amphitheater, as well as a visual arts building. There really isn't a hub for arts and culture on the northeast quadrant of Indianapolis, so we want to fill that void. And what better place to do it than in the heart of Lawrence at Fort Harrison. To be able to bring people together to one kind of campus-like location to exchange ideas and exchange storytelling and, and different versions of art. I think that's a great way for not only the community to understand each other better, but to become closer and become more tight-knit. It's exactly what a community is all about. Arts for Lawrence is a grassroots organization, and that's the beauty about it, that it's very community-focused. Uh, it's a great place to meet people, and to experience the arts, to, to enjoy it. Who doesn't like music? Who doesn't like dance? And there's a diverse programming, so you can choose whatever you, you like to come to see and enjoy. This community is too diverse, it's too big to not have its own place to meet and exchange art and exchange ideas and exchange hopes and dreams and everything that you know we express through artistic means. We really believe in the transformative powers of the arts, is what we say. <laughs>